62 and then 62. It's better than I thought. So maybe they must give this one. It will be took two years. I'm saying we finished my umrah, I just need to cut my hair. It took me three hours, but alhamdulillah, what an experience. أتيت برغم العنا والصعاب أتيت إليك شددت الركاب أتيت جناحي حب وشو and the second I got close people start getting physical I'm not getting close by the way that's the ركن اليماني it's the sunnah that when you get close to this side, you go touch it, but don't be kidding anybody. If you can't touch it, just keep walking. But this, on the other hand, is a madness. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. they're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. I'm getting too oh, I need to get out. I need to get out. Every time, yeah. I just, I'm just getting dragged in here. This is bad. Imagine the black stone. Again, I finished my umrah. I'm done. I just came here just because I'm in my ihram. It's easy to come in. If I go home, I change. It'd be impossible. Alhamdulillah. He made it. This guy made it. <laughs> he touched it. You know, I could just tell. Yeah, look at this. Guys, I think you know what my decision is. I'm going the wimpy approach. Give myself a butchered haircut. To be honest, my hair's already butchered, so. Alright, guys, this is. Yeah, I got two meals by accident. I didn't mean to order two meals. I'm probably not gonna finish it. If I do finish it, let's give it a shot. Bismillah. Not bad. Chicken breast. Yeah, it's real chicken breast. Bismillah. Ah, fine. The reason why I couldn't give my verdict on the hot dog is because I have no reference point. But this level, so juicy, it's so moist, not too much cheese because. I read cheese, I was like, oh, it's gonna ruin it. When you come, Amara, come smash burger, get the smashed chicken burger. I ended up mashing two meals, finished one Sprite. I'm gonna try and finish the other one. I usually do get water. This is my train of thought. I'm in Mecca. The only water I'm drinking is Zemza. That's it. No Avian water. It was like Avian or something. I'm like, no, Zemza water. So I got a Fanta. If you've been following the vlogs, you know I lost my luggage. I have no folks, so I have to buy a few. I just wanna buy some plain stuff. Quality is absolutely poor. Let's keep looking. Oh, yeah. Floating about. I'm clocking that most of these brothers are reselling the same stock. Yeah, they're all selling the same stock. Alright, this one's actually not bad, you know. You can just get a better color. Yeah, I think you said Ahsan. Come on. I have no time to look for an iron. I'm literally only here for 24 hours. So I'm gonna go make the off in this trip. And this I remember, I have this I remember already. I actually grabbed off that. I'm gonna try and catch the lads mid Umrah. They hopped on scooters. That's something I actually always wanted to do because if you know the Prophet, he got on a deb and he actually made the off on top of this deb. And Imam Muhammad he says that. He's done every single sunnah possible except that specific sunnah, which is get on top of a deb and do tawaf on top of it as seen by the Prophet. ﷺ. So, anyways, their top floor they're saying they're just whizzing about. For me, it was either doing a second amra, by the way, it's not to do only one amra. Oh, it's empty, look at this. I was thinking I would do a second amra for the vibes with the boys but it's either me eating food or collapsing 
mid the wall and getting absolutely stampeded, mushed up. It's uh, cleared up beautifully over here right now. I probably should have done Umrah at night. I should have just waited. But to be honest, I had no choice. When you're in the Ihram, it's not the most comfortable, especially when you're not used to being commando. But I'm not going to lie to you, the bottom bit was solid. I remember the first time when I done it, I had to do it with a belt. So they said they're upstairs. I'm not sure if you meant first floor or second floor. It's not first floor. It's a big place. I have no VG. He has some head. Look at this as well. Brothers have spent their life savings coming here. Obviously, they can't afford hotels. They're sleeping in the haram. Honestly, it looks like a vibe. The OGs would know that. We lost this man here one time and we find them sleeping with the Afghans in the masjid. Probably more barak as well. I'm not going to lie to you. They should be whizzing about here. This is Tawaf first floor. I had a little look around. I don't think they're here. By the way, I have to, have to get on a scooter and do my tawaf in that scooter. 100%. How are you? Fine. Alhamdulillah. Say Alhamdulillah. Ah, here's a scooter. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know how to do it. I'm going to do it better than you. Inshallah. Thank you. Thank you. The scooter is above. Yes, the scooter. Allah, my God. I'm going to go on them when I get to them. May Allah bless this guy. Allah, my God. Thank you. This spot's a void. I was just waiting for the lads, I don't know where they are. Technically, I shouldn't be here, but they just let me in, I tuck my way into it. Off starts over here, and then in there, there's the Safa Marwa. Look at these brothers. Why, we're gonna hop on scooters. You need to do the Ihab Basir on it. You know what, he actually promised me that he's gonna shave his head. Let's go take it off. <laughs> yes, the lads. <laughs> Got a single. I don't even know how to drive this thing. What are you doing? Oh, quick Zimza mission. ملك الحمد كما هديتنا للإسلام وعلمتنا الحكمة والقرآن اللهم اجعلنا لكتابك من التالين ولك به من العاملين وبالأعمال مخلصين وبالقسط قائمين الله يرحم والديك بارك الله فيك صحيح I just finished was hitting the two ركعات that was some vibe man that was I was just whizzing about no one's crashing into me, no one's like... It does test your patience, you know, being at the... At the Sahin down there, it tests your patience, especially with some people, they don't care, bro. They'll pull your clothes, they'll pull everything, you just have to smile back and, you know, not ruin your Ummah. But here, you just have an autopilot, and you just read your Afkar, and you're just in the zone. It's nice, but even, there, even down there in the Sahin, you're in the zone, you're in the zone, you're in the zone. In the zone. There is a few situations where people do get you out of the zone and you have to get yourself back in there. Get a quick Zemzem, man. I told you. No Avian water when you're in Mecca, bro. Bismillah. Taste test on Zemzem water. <laughs> Come on. I think I'm not gonna rate it 10 out of 10. It's the best water in the world, man. Come on, I shave, you have to shave, Zach. Are you shaving? He has to shave. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. arguing about who's going to cut out here. Yeah, they're beefing. Yeah. This guy bald, he has zero. Just like me, yeah, yeah brother, you know shave. what I'm saying? Take it off. <laughs> what you mean you're not going to shave bald? You made me shave bald and now you're not going to shave bald. <laughs> Get the shave. blade ready, yeah? Shave, take it off. What you mean take it off? I'm not exposing my bald head to the viewers. Let's go. He's better, they can't shave bald like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, cream, nothing. Bro, I find... Bro, oh, oh. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Yeah. Yeah. That's even like that, it actually seems... You look like a uh, Mongolian warrior. Mad. That looks good. Now it's two baldies. Me and Zach, come on. The bald guy. It suits you though, so don't worry about it. You look good. And you're married, bro. So it's all good. What's in here? <laughs> These brothers, man. Huh? Right, the boys are saying they want to go Medina tomorrow. That's cool. I want to go to Medina as well. But we have a flight from Jeddah at 8, so the only way that we can go to Medina is like 7, 8 in the morning. It is 2 o'clock. I haven't, you know me, I'm sleep apart. I left them because I think they're going to just pull an all-nighter. I have to at least even just get an hour or two hours of sleep because then we have to wake up for Fajr as well. You need to pray Fajr in the Haram. Then by the time you make it back, you have breakfast, this and that. That's it, we have to go catch a train. Turn, turn off this light. Okay. That's one. So it's like that. Back to basics. Come on, man. Five star hotel. Well, that's what they are. I'm booking back home. Right? Oh, it's all here. 
I don't think that counts much. So I'll try to catch this too. This is definitely not okay. But look, alhamdulillah, inshallah, we're gonna catch the second rakah at least. Beautiful citation. Sister, what day is today? 16th of March, Mecca Mukarrama. Fajr per second rakah. It's mad they even caught it. I think I've said that many times. I am sleeping like a genuine. Alhamdulillah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala empowered me to actually get up. I felt like I was in a coma. I literally closed my eyes. I'm gonna open my eyes. He said, those are breathing in my room. But obviously the speaker's there. I'm like, what? I'm gonna try to get as much sleep as possible until they come mocking for me in the room. We're trying to get a car to the train station, but there's no taxis flowing through this place. I managed to get a private car and a taxi. Private car's gonna charge, you know, he's gonna charge whatever he wants. Hey, Bismillah. Hey, Bismillah. Hey, Bismillah. Hey, Bismillah. Medina, Medina. Barakallahu fi. When someone comes in, yeah, we'll yeah, I don't think anyone's coming, but I was. Well, this whole thing. Get the three ones. Fahal Abir al Dunya Birumatina. Yeah, that goes to here. Two, three. And then this, this section here becomes open and in the, in the future you can plan ahead so the main thing you want to focus on is Last time I did this mission it was an overnight bus It wasn't easy but this was smooth along my bed How did I just go from Mecca to Medina in the space of two hours? There were the toilets of the train station Only two toilets in the whole train station So make sure before you get off the train go to the toilet If there is a toilet I'm not sure We were in line for a long time. It's cold in Medina. I'm actually surprised. What are you ordering? What are you ordering, brother? Uh, what are you getting? Uh, what are you, I'm gonna get you the breeze, brother. Come on, man. Breeze. He knows. <laughs> so it's funny. We're only here for three hours. We're gonna pray for her. Gonna give our salams and send our blessings. Try maybe even. Praying, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Probably be difficult since yeah. we're just popping up. That's probably over ambitious. Is it not hot? No. It's used to the heat. It's winter. You gotta get sick. It's winter, bro. What do you mean? It's winter. It is, it is. Bro, I'm getting tanned, bro. It is sunny, but it's winter now. This is winter. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It's how you feel. <laughs> you. <laughs> But there was no access to this place and I know where they opened it up. So maybe we could be going into the Rova. Who knows? أمست معاني النصر من كلماتي لألب عن عرض الرسول بذاتي أحلى رسول بما ملكت منافحا بالشعر أكتبه على الورقات البدر يسمو في السماء بعزة والشمس السلام عليك يا رسول الله السلام عليك يا خير خلق الله Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened it up for us that day, man. Look at this. Now it's a line all the way out here. And you know what? We were saying in the car, it's going to be a mission. Ahmed, he was like, guys, just make dua. Allah makes it easy. Wallah, we were like, inshallah, Allah makes it easy. Allah, they closed it up. That's mad. That's mad. They closed it. Look, you can see. We were just here. Closed it. SubhanAllah. Like literally for like a moment of time. And then they closed it. 
حان الوقوف لعرضكم بثبات حان الوقوف لعرضكم بثبات يا فرحة الدنيا المليئة حينما هل الحبيب وصاحب البركات سقطت رماح الكفر عند قدومه واستبشرت في مجده أبياتي فلربما غصن الأراك بلينه يثني المبارز يسقط الرايات ولربما موت الكريم مخوف للقوم إذ ثرافاته بهباتي للقوم إذ ثرافاته بهباتي ومؤكد سب الرسول يزيدنا حبا له ولديننا بحياتي Pray Bohr. Also, may Jama' with Asad because we're gonna bounce. I'm gonna try get them to go to Uhud right before we leave. See the Jabal al Roma, see the Masjid, see the Sahaba that were buried there. It's important to know the stories of the Sahaba, see the sacrifices that they've been through. These are the best men after the Prophets, and it's vital for us to first of all know who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, know the Prophet. Know the prophets that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent and know the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ah, tamam. How are you doing? Hello, Fit. Man, like Ahmed Banat, you know. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, with beautiful people. Alhamdulillah. In a beautiful city. You think we'd have enough space for bags? I made it happen, I don't know how, but he's actually chuffed with himself as well. Sar minha? صار منها الله ما شاء الله بس بالعقل الحمد لله تمشي الحمد لله بالعقل وبالبركة والله and this is أحد right there is جبل الروما نعم بإذن الله زوج he's fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting أو فكر صديق describes أحد he says ذاك يوم اللي طلح لا is a day for طلح his left arm was paralyzed he was just taking arrows he sees an arrow coming he took one arrow that was going straight for the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم paralyzed his arm أرمي يا سعد بأبي أنت وأمي and سعد goes بسم الله one Drops dead. Another one. Bah, drops dead. 100% kill rate. He doesn't miss. He's not missing. Well, Khalim, when you see this, he's like, this guy don't miss. We need to retreat. And that was the thing that kind of called that battle. And Allah. Finish from Uhud. And now we are at the train station. We missed out on Al Baik, man. We wanted to go Al Baik, but plan couldn't go 100%. To be honest, we could have actually got to it. We could have got Al Baik, couldn't we? 100%. What happened? Yeah, the driver was just like, listen, it's going to take us 25 minutes, half an hour to get to the train station. We have no time. Your train's at 3 o'clock. We're like, khalas, cool, dodge dinner. Let's go to the train. Took 10 minutes. And now we're early. We're like, 25 minutes early. No, we're not early. We're hungry. <laughs> Whether we like it or not, everything happens for a reason. So that there was no nasib in eating al bake today. So we're gonna go eat Starbucks instead. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> we're heading to Pakistan. 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 We
and then that's going to be transit to Pakistan. So let's find it. Oh, find it. ETU. From Jeddah to Dubai and then by mistake. So is there any way that I can be transferred from tomorrow's flight to today's flight? I remember as I was boarding the flight, I was forced to purchase a ticket because I've done it so quick. I miscalculated and I bought the ticket for tomorrow. I mean